Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black and welcome to part 105 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. Let's see, where's my shopping list? All of a sudden I can buy pearl steel from Deethelm. It's expensive as hell, but I can buy it. Alright, since I bought a bunch of iron scraps, I was able to... Well, high level iron scraps. I can build the ultimate level iron scraps. And this expansion of the castle is what I need those aquatic beast fins for. And I got four of them in that level. After staring at only two for so long. So I bought a bunch of, bought a bunch of pearl pearl steel for these various weapons and armors. Well, weapons and a shield, anyway. Yes. Another expansion. This one's going to be hard. I need more ground dragon skins. Well. Yes. Alright, so we expanded the castle, and this time it's someone inappropriate for the task helping us out. If you say so, Varl. Alright, so today we really worked hard. So then... So then... Uh-huh. So, after clearing out an area of the castle, she went off and helped herself to a feast even larger than usual. If you say so, let's see this! Four squares. Four squares! That is so crappy. Did I ever mention that this thing can actually... has the... Uh, this magic barrier thing has the... formation. The line formation. Ah, anyway. It does. So yay, two more points to dodge for everybody. And I'm going to do this simple and throw down more trees. Green and yellow trees I can always toss if I need room for something else. Come to think of it. I have too many gathering, herb gatherings whatevers. So I can put down an extra tree. Yellow. Who cares? Well, that covers everything in the castle. Doesn't it? No, it doesn't. I forgot to do this in my trial run. Alright. Three-star constructs. Four star magic beasts and four star females. Great. Boy, we're getting up there, aren't we? Mythical beasts. Oh, yeah, I captured a couple of dragons, didn't I? Great, that puts Yuiki, rooting Yuiki into his extended extended upgrades for luck. So, mythical beasts for him. Mm. Let's see. Oh, fire. Do I want revival or determination? Determination. Let's see, if I get more high level, it gets, well, higher level determination. This makes Yorin considerably more useful. And I gets to choose between these things to do with our males. 
Okay. Mythical Beast Killer. Hmm. That's interesting. But I don't use the killer type of thing, so let's stick to... Bog Standard. A new attack. Now before I forget, which I'm sure I would, let's equip this determination skill on you, um, Yorin. Man, these guys and their names. Oh hey, Yorin actually has a ranged attack. Yeah, he'll be fine. Alright, that's the fun in the castle. So, let's see what's up in Gaidal's hideout. Hey, Pearl Stone. Yeah, I can get true Pearl Stone here. Looks like Gaidal isn't appearing on the enemy list, so I don't get to kill him yet. I'm disappointed. Because I'm just so tired of listening to him talk. Alright, continuing into the Vinahedes ruins. It seems we're finally g reaching towards the innermore parts. So it appears there's some kind of castle within the inner region. This is actually a bigger place than he expected. Say, Deet. Taking a look at these ruins, what do you think of them? Ah. So, taking a look at the build of things, it's familiar to him. The way the magic, the magic is conveyed throughout the structures and the symbols that are carved into everything. It's the same kind of thing as you see in the castle. Yeah. As expected. So this means that these people actually do possess some of the arts that helped build the castle. But the stuff we usually find in Influus Kingdom, the ruins and the emplacements and what not, I always broken. And the stuff we're finding here doesn't seem to have lost its functionality. And just how far it's functional, we would have to research more deeply into, however. So it's possible there are things here that aren't present in the that aren't equipped in the castle. This appears to be their home base, so we don't know what kind of devices they have set up around. Since the Fuchsia Faith's eyes aren't upon this place, they could get some pretty big works done. So as the two of them are figuring this stuff out. We hear the sound of hands clapping. Oh, great. So, we understand things well, as expected of engineers, he said, it seems. And investigation of ruins seems to be our strong point. Guide up. Okay, before we do our investigation, Avaro wants to ask one thing. I don't. Jeez, what's wrong with you, Avaro? Avaro's was thinking it's probably not the case, but it couldn't be that you could actually make these taboo weapons here, could you? Yeah, well, if you are, we're still going to break them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so no. 
This isn't a place for building weapons. These ruins aren't a workshop, they are quote, our altar, end quote. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Altar. So it's not some kind of tactical weapon like the castle. It's someplace for worship and festivals and whatnot. Yes, yeah, he says that in the inside there's a very important device emplacement. It's something his clan has been keeping for a long time, and a good deal of knowledge is sleeping here. Hmm. Knowledge. Well, if that kind of thing really is here, it's probably going to be pretty useful. Hmm. Aurora says it's going to be a pretty big weapon. That's odd. Ah, here's what he's thinking. Avaro thinks that if we can get our hands on whatever this knowledge is, we'll be able to use it in order to burst into the tightly closed off holy grounds over there. So, it has to do with the magic techniques and conveyance. Conveyance. What they've been handing down, anyway. This kind of will that they've been brainwashing their descendants with. And also a bit of knowledge about the weapons and how to use them. And how to make these contracts with blood and continuing along that lines. In other words, this is where we're preserving preserving our memories of the past. And of course, the origins of the war as well as what happened between us and the gods that took our side. That history as well. Oh, now he's just trying to get on Fia's and get Fia all confused and shit. Well, it works. Okay, in that case, if we go inside, will she understand? Will she remember her? Well, will she understand the stuff about the past? Uh, yeah, he says, uh, probably you'd be able to get your hands on those memories you lost. Perhaps. So, taking one look at her, her heart is swaying. Well, that's not unreasonable. <coughs> She's been uncertain and actually a bit afraid about all these things she doesn't remember about herself. Probably something that Avaro can't even measure. And now that she has this opportunity perhaps to get her hands on these memories of hers, well, naturally she'd be faltering in her steadfastness. But Avaro isn't going to let this continue on. As her apostle, he wants to support her, and he can't let his lover fall into a dangerous situation such as this. All right, so Fia, you better not swallow what this guy says to us. If there really was important knowledge here, then they probably would have been able to 
hell make their own castle again or get into the holy grounds themselves. Probably he's trying to put one over us on us. And this is just trying another scheme of his to get us all confused. Well, Fia is still all tightened up and jumpy about hearing all of this. And Guide all continues with one of those evil grins of his. <laughs> So, that's a rather cruel conclusion to reach when they haven't even when we haven't even tried to confirm anything he said. And it's true that he doesn't have the way to manufacture the weapons itself preserved here. But that doesn't mean that's the only important information that there is. God, you're long-winded. Look, we're telling you, we don't believe anything you say. <laughs> okay, that is just Avaro's opinion. People are, every one of us, different in various ways. What we find important, what we want to protect, and what we absolutely want to take back. God, kill me. I'm sick of listening to this guy's pretty words that... <laughs> so, Avaro can't understand Fia's feelings anyway. After all, he isn't Fia. Crude as you are, perhaps you'll never be able to fathom the feelings of those who come to want to grasp at a single sliver of hope. Oh. This guy has a way with the words, doesn't he? Anyway. Afia is clenching her fists and shaking right now. <laughs> Alright. Actually, she has something good to say. She doesn't mind anything about herself at this point. But, she's not going to allow Gaidal to make fun of Avaro. Ooh, burn. Let's see if we can get her acting like a goddess. Instead of... I don't know, a scared little girl? I'm getting sick of this. As for Avaro's reaction... Gaidal's trying to get him more riled up, but... More than anger, he's feeling... Exasperated. So, saying these obvious things like you... Know them so well... Are you having fun? It's true that Avaro and Fia are not the same person. And we don't embrace the same... And embracing the same feelings would be quite different. Dif difficult. But even so, they've been trying to understand each other, supporting each other, and walking together. Seeing as you don't have the connection that we have, and the bonds that we've come to build between ourselves, don't go talking like you know anything about us. So ha! <laughs> Is that so? To see Avaro so angry about it, has Gaidal perhaps hit the nail right on the head here? Oh, this is typical. So, again, tempting Fia. He says if Fia will believe him, at the very least, 
this uneasiness she's felt from not having any memories will be solved. How about it? Well, Fia seems like she's about to cry, but she spares a strong um, eyeline, eyesight. It's not exactly a glare, but she's making eye contact at the very least. And she's got strength behind that eye, that uh, line of sight. So anyway, stop enticing us already. We told you. And we don't understand what you're doing having so much fun with it. Or how it is you're having so much fun with it. You're just trying to get us... As long as you keep trying to get us wild, riled up like this, we're definitely not going to be taking your side with anything. And that mouth of yours that keeps causing trouble, we're just going to have to seal up. So, prepare yourself. Bam! Let's get to it. Interesting, I've always said that it seems like we're chasing him down and cornering him, but he's still got a bad feeling about what's going to happen. Hmm. Maybe that's foreshadowing, or maybe that's Avaro being paranoid. In any case, that was a lot of talking, so I think I'm going to save and quit. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.